the mouse will come around, step on the top piece, and when it does, it gets the kill bar right on the brain. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna use a rare and valuable mouse trap from the 1920s to catch a mouse in the barn. And then we're gonna feed that mouse to wild animals in the backyard. Now what I have here is a metal mouse trap painted red with a powerful spring. It's kind of like a standard snap trap with a very different trigger system. It doesn't have the setting bar. Instead, it's on a hinged piece of metal. On top here, it's printed Easy Set Mouse Trap and a patent number. It was patented by James E. Ruby on May 31st, 1927, and it was manufactured in Kansas City, Missouri. Now it carries the most popular name ever given to mouse traps over the years. There has been many different variations on spellings and manufacturing, but Easy Set has been a very popular name to help sell mouse traps. Now what I like so much about this mouse trap design is that it's made out of solid metal and built to last. And I also love that it's painted red. It looks really great and it seems like a good design. Now what's so unique about this snap trap is it doesn't have a trigger and a setting bar. Instead, this top piece on the hinge is the trigger and back here is where you set it. We'll go ahead and lift this up and pull back the kill bar. I'm gonna watch my fingers. And it clips in right there. You put the bait on the hook, the mouse will come around, step on the top piece, and when it does, it gets the kill bar right on the brain. So it does live up to its name, it's very easy to set, and it seems to work well. Now with being over 90 years old, I don't know how long it's been since one of these easy set mouse traps has actually caught a mouse, but we're gonna change that tonight and set it up in the barn. But I have to be very careful. These are rare and valuable. This is the only one I've ever had a chance to purchase. In working condition with the original paint, they sell for over $250. And I don't want a pack rat or squirrel to steal my trap. So I'm gonna tie it down and place it in a box. This also helps with the YouTube censorship. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see how long it takes to catch a mouse with the easy set mouse trap. Well, quite a bit of action happened. I'm really glad I had the box and the trap secured with a piece of wire. When that pack rat came, it set off the trap and then took the bait. It would have made off with our trap if I didn't have it tied down. So I moved it to the barn and it didn't take long. The mouse went in there, stepped on the trigger and got caught. The trap worked perfectly. Then the second mouse came and got a free meal. 
Now I don't want the mouse we caught to go to waste, so I'm gonna feed it to wild animals. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoy the mouse caught with the easy set mouse trap. Well, that huge brown rat at the compost pile has become very quick at snatching up the mice we catch. Usually a skunk or a possum get there first and enjoy a mouse meal, but they're not getting any food as long as that rat's around. But don't worry, I'm gonna catch him in a future video and I know what to use for bait, a mouse. Overall, I'm very happy with the Easy Set Mouse Trap. It's a really creative design and after 90 years, it still works well. I especially like the color. The inventor's last name was Ruby, and I like how the trap was painted ruby red, but don't worry, I'm not gonna use it anymore. I'm gonna place it in the collection. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and thanks to all the viewers who have sent me art. I love seeing the pictures. I also really enjoy seeing all the photos of pet cats that like to watch my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.